Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capace channel in Malaysia. Raymond Toy shared a really exciting tease on their Facebook page today. The team looks to be returning to the Silverhawks brand per this shared image of a character named Metal Moselle, which homages the female Silverhawk team member Steelheart. Now, Raymond Toy is of course no stranger to the world of Silverhawks with their incredible action figure releases from last year of Quicksilver and Monstar. Both figures were released in collaboration with Super 7 as the official license holder. And both of these guys were the first ever modern day updates of Silverhawks figures in over 30 years since the original Canada days. The Ramontoy Quicksilver and Monster figures are some of the best retro action figure updates of all time and both figures made my personal top 10 list of 2022. But Silverhawks has also enjoyed a resurgence in recent months with the Ultimates releases from Super 7 which take an animation accurate approach to the look of the characters and are also absolutely breathtaking in their approach. Now this channel's reviews of the Armored Monster, Quicksilver and Buzzsaw are all YouTube first. Go check them out if you haven't already and it's safe to say that some of these figures are already on my year-end best of list. Super 7 also put out an Ultimates version of Steelheart as part of Wave 1 and hobby stores locally in Malaysia have only recently started to bring the figure in. The Super 7 version is of course excellent, but Ramon Toy looks set to deliver something all new with this version of the character. Unlike the earlier releases, it seems like this one will not be an official release, hence the alternate character name of Metal Moselle. The figure is also stated to be released under the Titanium Titan series line. I don't have much information at present on what the series is all about, but it's possible that we will be seeing various retro-themed pop culture characters from across different franchises, all united under one banner. Now, will Metal Moselle, aka Raman Steelheart, come with metallic paint finishing? I think it's safe to say that based on what we've seen with their Monstar and Quicksilver releases, that's a definite. Now, as I mentioned, we can expect Raman Toy's take on Metal Moselle to go beyond the basic animation design of Steelheart. This is similar to what we've seen in the interpretations of both Quicksilver and Monstar, in that they were unique in their own way, and while familiar, they were also different from the versions that we had seen prior in the cartoons, the toys, and the comics. So I will expect Raman Toy's take on Steelheart here to be very different from the Super 7 Ultimates version. This will also be Raman Toy's first ever female figure in 7-inch scale. Now, the original Kenner Steelheart figure is a fan favorite for sure, and it's actually pretty hard to come by today on the secondary market. Actually, almost all of the Silverhawks are. But looking back at the figure today, I would say that, man, it was definitely in need of a major upgrade. Guys, I'm excited for details on this new Ramon Toy Metamoselle, aka Silverhawk Steelheart figure. I'm looking forward to more updates as well on Titanium Titans. Let me know your thoughts on the figure in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content right here.